Greetings from Cuyahoga Falls. My name is Jehovah. Welcome to War of Rights. It's Saturday, but we're not hanging out with the UEC. This week we were invited to a special event between the 22nd Virginia and the 20th New York. You guys remember the 20th New York, the old anchor of the Union on the field here today, facing off against the 22nd Virginia, among others. We'll get to that here in a second. But there is your 20th New York, the anchor of the Union today fighting alongside 5th Ohio. Now, as you know, I am from Tennessee by blood, but I currently live in Ohio, so we'll see if the 5th Ohio can do something fancy today. Now, a little bit of history. But while we still do this, the game's about to take this job away from me, which I'm glad to give to him. Uh, but we are at the Piper Farm. Now, this historically is the center of Lee's uh, line that day. You can see over our left there is your Dunker Church. Uh, the Miller Cornfield off in the distance, the North Woods beyond. We also have the Mama Farm on fire, caught on fire by Confederates, not by Union beyond. That is the East Woods. And this is the middle of the battlefield itself. You can see, uh, let's get our bearings here where we're looking. Off in the distance, that is the Roulette Lane battlefield. That is where the Union mustered up to attack the Sunken Lane, which is right down in front of that. So you can see that is your Sunken Lane battlefield right there, Bloody Lane, the cornfield in behind it. And we are just beyond at the Piper Farm. So when the Sunken Lane collapsed and the Confederates started flooding back toward the Piper Farm, this is where you get the historical uh, inaccurate story of uh, Longstreet and his staff, you know, single-handedly holding back the Union Army with, a, with an artillery uh, piece, which is all bullshit. D.H. Hill was sending suicide attacks from the Piper Farm area down into through this corn and down into the bloody lane itself, uh, preventing those Union from getting up on that hill and uh, pushing the Confederate middle completely off the battlefield. So that's where we are here today. Now we're fighting with a different group, although we know how the 20th New York fights. We really don't know how the 22nd Virginia is going to fight, so this should be very, very interesting. Although we got a good feeling how they're going to fight as well. All right, and it looks like the clock has started. And it's doing that thing again where I don't have a T. Which is weird. Shoot preacher. Shoot preacher. I heard shoot preacher. <laughs> And, uh, and that means the CB boys. There it is, Lieutenant Colonel Preacher. We know Preacher from back in the day. He would uh, participated in the duels, the ill-fated duels that we had on the channel. Uh, he was a winner in, in his duel, actually. Never got a second chance. They're going to they're gonna join us later. And these are his boys. There's Jack Stone there. And the Confederates take up a predictable position up on the hill, manning the gun. We got Major Luke Thighwalker here. Oh, I don't have a, uh, a T because I don't think these guys are playing for the point of contention. That's right. Okay, so the Union does have artillery here. Thanks for that, Hardy. And the Union's already made it to the wall here. This has got to be a deadly spot. With that Confederate artillery just right up the hill there. See some shots coming in from the Ohio there. And it looks like First Lieutenant Dragon. No. Oh. Oh. Das zum Anfang sagen. Das wird mir zum Ende vom Match sagen. In command. Mal, dass die Skirmisher links ein bisschen rausziehen. So they're going to catch artillery fire. It just depends if it'll just bounce off that wall, which it probably will. I imagine. Hey. This is my daughter. James is got zwei Klicks links von Prime. <laughs> See the Ohio again, rising up to take a shot. Hmm. 
Ah, die knien sich natürlich da hinten schön hinter den Erdwall. Soll ich scouten gehen? Mit wem anders? Mich würde es mal kurz interessieren, wo die fünfte Ohio ist. Die ist vielleicht weit links. Ja, ich glaube, die fünfte Ohio ist in der Reichweite. <lacht> links von uns. All right, so this battlefield can turn into this kind of a fight where the Union just kind of sit there and wait. That's where having a lot more people do actually help. But, I mean, it's a time. It's not a timed game, so I'm kind of wondering how the timer works. Maybe my Tiki just isn't working. Because normally I would see the timer even if I didn't get... Uh, even if there was no point of contention, so... I know this happened before and it came back, so I'm not sure how to do that. Sir, have you fire at will? So each army paint. waiting to see what the other no, one's no, going to do. Yeah. Kommt ihr nochmal hierher? Was war? Was war? Talk, can you help me roll really fast? Sounds like artillery fire coming in from the Union. You can see the Union flag off in the distance. Couple Union heads poking up there. That's the officers. Oh! Skirmisher rechts, die Flanke. Offizier tot. Alright, and they're calling for skirmishers here, and that's what we got. We got Union all the way up the hill. Working the artillery, hiding behind it. This is your 5th Ohio on the move, on the flank. Ooh, there's one less of them. <laughs> so I do like this aggressive move here by the Union. Kein Ausfall. And this is probably going to try to open the door for... The 20th New York, although we do have some Confederates down here as well. Right on their flank. Look at this. That's Preacher and his cavalry. Someone hit the flag. Come on. There, I'll do it. Oh, I missed it. There, I'll do it. And they drove the 20th up the hill into the uh, buzzsaw of the Confederates. All right. I got one. Playing a little peekaboo there. Let him post back. Oh, That's shoot, right. Shoot him again. That's right. Run away. <laughs> Yeah, run away. Yeah, run away, you cowards. Run away. No, don't call them cowards, but still, run away. No, you're not run cowards. Away. <laughs> the cowards in an in a in game role play sense. You, you, you yeah. dirty Yankees. <laughs> Alright, what you yeah, yeah. finish? Re uh, give me a check on reloaded. I should have Our guys no, are moving me. down the hill on the right, uh, across the way. Oh, nice, nice. Alright. Preacher, yeah, break, a uh, right, lively, break, 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 ready. Break, break, ready. Break. lively opponent always. So, artillery going off here. Looks like it went high, or bounced off the wall one. Smoke out here. This can the the 22 will skirmish or stand, when the other units, when the so the 20th seems fine behind the wall for now. And preacher doesn't have many guys over there to pose much of a threat to their flank. Also hat Preacher die linke Flanke, ist das korrekt? Ja. Oh! Dann zieht euch die Flanke zurück. Oh, da ist eine Artillery kommen. Ich bin getroffen, ich bin getroffen. Was soll das? Das hat die Wall, anyway. Ich bin nicht sicher, ob es die 20th getötet hat. Rechte Flanke! Yeah, they're calling for guys on their flank again. And we know who it is. If we can find them. Where'd they go? I hear them. Alright, they're... Uh...
There they are. <laughs> I didn't go back far enough. Uh. Oh, yeah. Break to the case on, to the guns. All right, they're coming this way. Preacher did his job. He pulled the 20th away from the main line there. And you can see they're hightailing it out of there. So now it's forcing the Confederates to move this way as well. 22nd Virginia coming this way. Now we're starting to liven up here. I don't know how long we have in the match. But it's a race, and the Virginia's going to win it. 20th getting into line, but they're under fire. And the Virginia raking the 20th New York, the anchor of the Union, with fire. And they just don't have a lot, guys, left. Here come Preacher to finish them off. Pennsylvania Cavalry coming this way. And the flagman running for it. Mr. Black. Hey, boy. Uh, That's a good boy. Preacher chasing him all the way to Washington. Oh, I got him. <laughs> Shot him dead. Watch out. Watch out. His buddy's going to get it. His buddy's going to try and save it. <laughs> Wait till it resets. Wait till... Oh, no. I'm going to die out of line. Oh, no. I'm going to die out of line. It's fine. It's oh, fine. no. I'm going to die out of line. Preacher's going to die out of line here. Oh, Doesn't have enough guys. Oh, <laughs> All right, so the 22nd Virginia, they did their job, and they're coming back to the main point, the general point of contention, although there doesn't seem to be one here. I just can't hear it. I heard a charge command. If And they're gonna, they got tired of the Ohio over here on their flank, and they're pushing them off here. Uh-oh. First lieutenant's down. <laughs> Joe One-Eye. Taking a shot. Sorry, Joe, but the kill must be clown. Okay, ceasefire. Ceasefire. All right, so the Virginia have done it. They've secured their line, pushing off the 20th New York as well as the Ohio. And uh, this is actually where Morphos landed in the 22nd Virginia. I haven't seen him in a few weeks playing but he told me he plays on Friday and so I'm not able to get Fridays unfortunately but so Major Luke Thighwalker of the Cav on the gun but there's no one to point it at right now 20th New York was wiped, and the 5th Ohio back to the wall. Looks like a couple corporates leading the way here today. Yep. Excuse me. Did you hear So, without a point of contention, we're just going on kills. Um, <clears throat> so there's no attack, counterattack, that kind of thing. And 20 seconds on the move. Oh, there is a point of contention. It's showing there. I just don't have a T, so I'm not sure what's going on with my game. Which sucks. But, uh, yeah, the 5th Ohio looks like they've pulled over the whole 22nd. So we'll see if this gives the 20th New York an opening to get up the center of that field there. Near to Willow. Oh my god, a brutal fire <laughs> from the 22nd Virginia and the uh, Ohio. They're getting the fuck out of there while they still can. Smiles. And it doesn't look like the New York has gotten back in time to uh, use that to any kind of advantage. So Ohio just losing a lot of guys. Uh, for no yeah. reason there, unfortunately. But how'd they know they were going to draw over the whole damn Confederate Army? You know what I'm saying? 22nd, pretty large and in charge. They've pretty much got the one side of the server to themselves. So, yeah, see, this isn't a bad size, really, to do it competitively. Because a lot of units don't have 
50, 60 guys that can come to an event every week, you know. Most guys are bringing 12 to 15, so. But if you were to put two groups together, let's say if you were to, to combine, you know, like the, the 20th New York and the 22nd Virginia and fight against two other units, you know, who gets the victory? It, it's, I don't know, it seems, it's hard for me to work that out in my brain. All right, so Preacher and the guy's coming all the way over and doing the hook. Oh, because the 20th is coming this way. Preacher's got eyes on him, and he's going to get there first, but he doesn't have enough guns to stop him. Here comes Dragon and the rest of the 20th New York down the road on the flank of the Confederates. Preacher and his little band of merry men, the only thing to hold back the tide of the blue wave. Not going to live long. Preacher doing it with a pistol. Preacher, you're dead, man. No, you're dead. I'm getting yeah, he is dead now. That's right. It's Jonestown, baby. Now. It's Jonestown. Forget it, kid. Ah! <laughs> oh, no. Oh, my God. What the... Uh, <laughs> Preacher talked a bunch of shit and killed the guy, but then... Uh, Great. Got cleaned up. So you can see the 20th New York. Uh, I'll tell you what, for only having four guys, Preacher and his little band did a hell... Did, yeah. Did some great work there. So the 20th kind of stopped in their tracks. Not a whole lot of men left to do much with. So the Union early on struggling. Oh, my T's back. There it is, 27. And it looks like we do have a point of contention, so great. All right, 5th Ohio making their way back in to the battlefield. Maybe hoping the 20th New York drew the 22nd Virginia away, and it appears that they might have done so. 22nd in the hay bales. Flooding back this way, but there's just not a lot of the 20th New York left. I think, I mean, it surprised us. I think it surprised the 22nd as well that Preacher's Band of Cavalry were able to punch a hole in 20th New York like that. But you see Underdog got the glasses out. Oh, that's a beautiful picture right there. That's very nice. This game is absolutely beautiful. All right, so we got 20 second, 26 minutes left in the match. And we're getting the gun command. Oh, that's the Ohio behind us. It's like, that must be coming this way. So the Ohio have come in behind the 22nd Virginia, but as soon as the Virginia turn back this way, they're going to be wiped, or they're going to have to get out of here. And 22nd Virginia still holding steady in the hay bales. More concerned with the 20th New York. But there you have it. The Union is now engaged. We heard an artillery blast. I must have missed the shot. But one way or another, Union is losing tickets. And as the attacking side, that is not good news for the 20th New York. March over the Sunday. And you see why the 22nd stayed in place. Here come the New Yorkers. At the double quick. At the double. Uh, Arthur, du driftest es gerade ein bisschen ab. I am Arthur, it was Arts. No shit. Wir halten vorne an Voraus. dem. Ja, vorne. Voraus. Vorne an dem Wagen anhalten. And here comes the Virginia. They're not waiting for them. They're actually coming right down in their face ah, here. Die sich auch. 20th New York in danger. Ah, and they rush straight into the 22nd. This looks like a suicide march to me. <clears throat> you can see Wolf, Arthur, not many left. Mr. Black getting away with the flag. There aren't going to be many left to write letters home. Not too fast. But three guys from the 20th did escape, including the flag bearer, so that's really good. Great job there. Mr. Black? Okay. <laughs> I think they know. They don't have a lot for the 22nd Virginia here. 22nd Virginia large. They got a lot of men. 20th going to be hard-pressed to do much with them. See Preacher's Band over here. Shot that Rambo. But yeah, shoot that flag. Oh, yeah. Right, I have five tickets, so. Yeah. 
Dang it. I was sway ours are swaying too much. Yeah. I'll shop, I'll wait for everyone to reload. So He's been drinking enough. anything tonight, oh, no, so. Oh, that was close. Boom, that. that was close. It was a little long. But he scared, they scared him, unfortunately. He's still there, though. <laughs> shoot at him. Oh, flagman going down. Weapons free. It's out. Oh, well, shoot that area. Oh, another guy going down. You guys are crack we shots. Are, uh, north. Yeah, northwest of the cannons. Oh, see you later, Hardy. Thanks for being here, man. There. There's a straight ahead. Oh, watch the wall. Watch the wall. Take a shot at front, the wall. Front, front, enemies front, in front. Enemies in front. Straight Take north. a shot at the wall. And run you see, they're getting excited because the 5th Ohio is on yeah, the wall I'm here. And they got him flanked. That's what you're 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 and you hear the huzzah, that means the Confederates are now engaged as well. So those tickets are mighty costly, but they did get back out of the way. Preacher bringing his guys back out of harm's way. Alright, I can't, can't get in there if they're listening to music, unfortunately. YouTube does not approve. All right, so what do we got here? 20th New York still not really back on the field yet. 22nd Virginia in mass in the center. 5th Ohio on the corner. And Preacher's guy swinging around. 20th almost back to the wall now. And Preacher and his boys over on the Confederate right flank. Company right, Gums take right, take eight, take eight, and you can see the 22nd Virginia in the distance there. I didn't see any bodies drop that time. So each one of these teams feeling each other out. Right grass. And the twenty second right looking strong and in control here. Yeah, I'd love to see these guys back in a UEC event. 20th New York hadn't been around for a while. Here come the 5th Ohio. Rise up. Oh, an artillery blast. Direct hit on the Confederates. But they still got more muskets than the Ohio, but here they come. Ohioans coming up the hill. But it was a fake charge, and they're turning around and going back the other way, drawing the 22nd Virginia down the hill. Into the guns of the 20th New York. Can the 20th take advantage? A lot of bullets coming in, but I didn't see a lot of Confederates dropping. So a brave move by the Ohio there. And it totally worked. They were drawing the 22nd down the field before Jack Stone could get the men back under control. So with the Union attacking, this is a tough map for the Union, and the point of contention is in a weird spot. It's kind of it's away from the Confederates now. It's down by this broken fence area, so the Union can work their way up this hill, but with all these guns here, it's just so dangerous. You can't just stand out in the open like you used to be able to, because uh, you'll just get torn to pieces with the artillery. But I don't see Thighwalker running a gun right now. Oh yeah, there's those Union guns way out there. Look at this. That's crazy. They're using the guns from um, Roulette Lane. That's awesome. Uh, the guys that make this game are historical nuts too, so the accuracy of this game is very, very high compared to others that I've seen, for sure. 
Oh, that's the 8th Alabama flag right there. A variant of. It's fitting. Some of these boys actually came from the 8th Alabama originally. I remember that's the first time I ever heard of uh, Jack Stone or Underdog. You can see the Ohio back up on the fence. 20th New York down the hill. And Ohio trying to get out of there. So they're a small company, but they are mobile, and they're getting around this battlefield. They them and Preacher's guys kind of just swapping back and forth. There's a large unit out here. So Preacher and his boys got a couple of the 22nd Virginia over here. You ready? Oh Pistol. yeah. I'm saving it for myself. All right, give me a check. It's the, I'm ready. it's the music, chick. Yeah, preacher, I can't hang around when you're playing music, bro. It sucks. Yeah, yeah. I'd like to, but I'm not here to yuck anybody else's yum. Play music if you like. I just can't hang out over there. Here they come. Yeah, I see us. Officer's tot. So the Ohio in in peril. <laughs> Here come the cavalry. I got him. Oh, I didn't even have to do it. Good work, boys. Corporal Thank Raven, you. the last to go, but he's dead. And they have done it. Hold the up. Pennsylvania Cav with a couple of the 22nd Virginia. Knocking him down. Preacher standing out in the field. Oh, I'm sure it's bigger than that, bro. <laughs> All right. So, 17 minutes in the match, and we're both engaged. Confederates really in charge of this map at this point. Even though the point of contention marker doesn't show that, they haven't really gone down there and bothered to take it back. And the Ohio have continuously probed this area. They're doing it again. Here he is. Tharner coming up here. Private. I guess that's third class. Acting like a Rambo. But maybe he can get some of his other boys up here. He never actually took a shot yet. Yep, there it is. <laughs> uh. Okay, perfect. So it looks like a couple of the Virginia guys are over here still hanging out with the calf. Preacher is standing out in the field. <laughs> All frozen and shit. You're meeting uh, Preacher at the barn, at the wall. So speaking of the barn and the wall, here they are. There's Preacher, Thigh Walker. You can't hear the horn. Oh, look at that. They respect the horn. Oh, my God. I feel like the Romans, the German auxiliary. It's amazing. We are Excellent. staying alive. Yes, you are, and you're doing a great fucking job. What do you mean? That's not a. Po I think it's. I think it's a. a, a no, that was a non-falsetto version of "Staying Alive." Oh. Staying alive. Staying alive. He gets it. Alive. He gets it. So, gentlemen, beyond this corp, if you guys, if you guys haven't noticed, right over there to our front is actually the main spawn on Sunken Lane, and beyond that cornfield would be where we do our holy fuck we're gonna lose runs on Sunken Lane, except for us because we won it yesterday. Because we're the fucking best. And who we win it with? The 22nd goddamn Virginia. So it's one Piper Farm the same way. All right. Oh, you know, preacher stand out here getting the right. men fired up. Um, stand by. <laughs> now, can I ramble with binos? I guess we'll find out. Oh, look. Uh, oh, here they are. Oh, oh, no, no, no need to rambo. Oh. Get me out of case Get me out of fucking case Get me out of fucking case Drop. 
Fire you can well see done, they, well done, well done, well done, well done. Ohio ran right up on, exposed their flank to the to the uh, cavalry, and they're getting hit from both sides, and now they're taking losses. So the Union, every time the Ohio come up, they get knocked back and just bleeding tickets. But at least they're trying to make something happen. Devil's back now. Damn it, Devil, you're a loose cannon, but you get results. <laughs> That's a compliment. That's a nice, it's a, it's a, Thank you. Oh, Preacher is a character, like a, man. They see in cop movies, you know. Um, <laughs> Damn it, McNulty. You ever watch The Wire? All right. So, gentlemen, uh, they're going to be uh, they're gonna be directly northeast. Uh, reference they're lined ground. up right there. You can see them. a shot from the northeast. Northeast. All right, are they, are they lined up? Excellent. Yep, Back they're up lined up. On so the up. Union taking okay. losses with 13 minutes. Right. They've never really been right. close. West. To holding the point of contention, the 20th yeah, seems so fine just to hang out by the wall. I guess they're just going to do try to do it all in one big uh, gulp there. And Calvary moving off. Layers and layers and binders full of fucking caissons and women. All right, now you can see a tippy top of the flag reference right hand side, tree front northeast, kind of right. Seen? Seen? No. That's all right. Behind the you big the tree. Giant, you mean the, the tallest tree? Yeah, the big, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? We'll call it tall tree. <laughs> yeah, yeah we'll tree call it the tallest tree. tree. <laughs> yeah, you guys can't see it. That was a naked eye. That's all right. Oh, I see it now. It's truly, it's truly right there. Oh, yeah, I see it. Oh, yeah. Stand by. I want to make yeah, sure a shot's yep, actually hit flesh. Yeah, yeah. I, want to, I want to hit fleshy things. All right. Up to, up. Oh, fuck. Hey. Oh Jesus, Jack! You can't talk. That's how they. That's how they talk when they kill me. Yeah, yeah. Both units are at the stone wall. Jack, scared preacher. And so if they go to the cap, wait, 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 wait. Preacher, come back. Preacher, man. Preacher. Wait, wait. The whole army's like, come back. Sure. All right. Okay. That's so, yeah, good. no problem, man. Yeah. All right. Jack's All right. trying to give him a plan, and Preacher's oh, just going in. Oh, oh, shoot. Shoot. Oh, yeah. Fully right. cocked. So funny. Thirty percent piercing chance. Four fucking projectiles. I'm no gambler, like but that means you win every. Yeah. Thank you. That's a better line. <laughs> oh man, do I have a fucking Lamat? Give me Lamat. That's a cold navy. I got baby dicked. All right, uh, stand by. Uh, break rear. This is not so Break pockets. rear, one layer. Break rear, one layer. Break rear, one layer. Flags Everyone pushing out. Get behind out. the case or get behind the livers. Sorry, my bad. Flags I should have made it more clear. <laughs> oh, look at them. So the twentieth, bringing their way up. Preacher noticed. And the flagman goes down. Twentieth getting. Cut to pieces here, and you can see why that stone wall is so appealing. Retweet. And what's left of him? Oh my god, you see that dude get shot right by that tree. And so the four remaining New Yorkers hide behind the wall there. So 22nd Virginia in complete domination of this field. You can see the Ohio coming out trying to give something to Preacher's boys, but there's a lot of them there. And now there's only one guy left to run back from the Ohio. So the Confederates completely dominating this match so far today. And with the Union taking losses with 1028, it's going to be hard for them to actually uh, muster up enough men to actually attack that point of contention. I don't even know if they have enough. So they are outnumbered just by a few. Not many, to be honest, but they would all have to get together as one cohesive unit uh, in order to fight, in order to do anything to the 22nd anyway. No. Okay, good. All right. And the Confederates. Right there, you can see from here. They want to destroy him. Bearing? I'm, fuck, I'm stupid. I'm high. Right, right there, flag, right there, dude. Basically, right Yeah, there. all right. So let's Oh, left. Oh, okay, okay. At the, all right, all right. At the corn snake. You see the flag. 
Yeah, I still think we're uh, there, north, northeast. Do right. not reload there we go. on this line. Relight. Back yeah. Up. Back up. I wonder if they oh, can see did. Preacher standing there like we can. Who knows? What is he, what is he trying to order? More tickets? He's trying Maybe. to figure out if he should order something new or used. How do you... So the 5th Ohio coming back in. Get my Geht mal an die Mauer, nieder an der Mauer, außer die Fahne. So, I'll tell you, with 8 minutes and 46 seconds left in this match, <clears throat> if, here's, here's my prediction. If the 20th does not gather all of the Union forces together under one push, I don't think they have a snowball's chance in hell against the 22nd Virginia here. Because they're they're mobile enough to get to wherever they need to be, and Preacher over there has a pretty massive wad of men with him as well, so they're going to complement each other, and they're working together, and the, and the Union doesn't appear to be doing that as much so far. They're kind of using the Ohio as a pick and trying to punch a hole in, but they haven't been able to hold it, so... We'll see if they can do it with eight minutes left in the match. <laughs> so with the lull in the action, we'll hang out with the guys and see if we can't hang out and listen to what they have to say. If you can understand German, that is. <laughs> we'll go ahead and get some <laughs> cinematics here. Yo, have we got out the belegged cow? Come the top of the road in the Es ging damit los, dass äh, ich sagte, belgische Schokolade schmeckt lecker und da meinte Rufus, nee, er mag lieber die Schweizer. Äh, Joe. Joe. Ja, ich verwechsel euch immer. Das weiß ich. Aber ich stehe auf zu Joes Meinung. Ja, siehst du, also. Und deswegen Tupplerone. Ich esse keine Schokolade. See the underdog there with the glasses. <coughs> get a position. But it doesn't appear that they're using artillery. All right, here come underdog. Waiting for them to come out. And immediately goes on the attack. They get the shot off first. And they're pouring fire into the 20th. You can see why the 20th not having any... Fun trying to get up this hill. The 22nd got into position faster and were able to put the hammer down on them. But the 20th still got a lot of men here. Let's see if they can move up this field. This is a very hard push for the Union. So Turner's Battalion under a lot of pressure here. You see just the wall of the 22nd just raking lead across the Union line. And the 20th is knocked down by at least 50% there in that last volley. And he's going to have to get them out of there one more time. So not a lot of, uh, man, just not a lot of luck getting up that hill against the 22nd Virginia in this match. And you saw how the underdog did it, man. He waited and waited and waited very patiently watching the Union. And as soon as he saw a movement, he got his guys up into position before the 20th New York was able to do the same thing. So a, a great way to defend this area on this map. That is if your opponent is just hanging out behind the wall. If, uh, if they had more men, they might be able to do some flanking actions and try to Try to push underdog away somewhere else. <laughs> but Dragon did save some men, and now the Ohio are with them, so hopefully they can get 
this side of the server masked up with four minutes to go. They're going to have to do something nasty to uh, win this match. You can see they've left a lot of bodies coming up this way without much to show for it. All right, so where's that pesky cavalry? Here they are. And they're being like mosquitoes. Coming out, getting their pock shots. Break rear. And then break into the rear, doing that peekaboo shit, preacher. So be extra nice to him. Be extra nice to him. <laughs> yeah, put him out of the misery okay. faster. Break we your teeth you. before you spit on their dead bodies. But take their wallet, but do it quietly. Yeah. <laughs> Leave them enough money for the, uh, exactly. to pay the, the, the Harry, can be sushi by me? How do you right. say... Oh, yeah. Say, <laughs> ah, Jack, 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 Jack. Hello. Uh, can you, can you is... take your skirmishers to the far right side? There are skirmishers on the right side. Yeah, you Flag got it, man. They're on the move. They're on the move. They're on the move. So you see the 22nd want Preacher and his skirmishers to attack and fight against the Ohio, who he says is moving to the Confederate right. But it looks like the whole line might be moving that way. 20th New York coming this way. They're going to hit their left on the Confederate right to see if this is any better. Ohio coming up toward the middle. 22nd Virginia on the move behind the caissons and the artillery. <laughs> to defend the right side. We'll see if the Union can come up with something nasty here in order to push the Confederates off this hill. You can see there's just not a lot of them left. And 22nd Virginia in mass, so here they come. Charge by that. And the counterattack actually happening here. 22nd moving out to attack the Union. The Ohio come in to help. Gonna be li too little too late, I'm afraid. 22nd Virginia now have the Union breaking with two minutes to go in the match. So Jack Stone bringing over Preacher's boys. Boy, talk about something happening right on time. Although the 22nd Virginia seemed to hold their own pretty well. And I'd say that's just gonna, that just about does it for the Union in this match. I don't know that they're going to have too much more resistance to add with two minutes to go and already breaking. You see the Union here licking their wounds behind the stone wall. But it's going to take the whole damn army to do it. And I don't even know if they could do it with the whole damn army, to be honest with you. 22nd Virginia just on fire this afternoon. New to the channel, but we've seen this kind of domination before out of units. But give the Union credit, it's not like they lost the match early. They've gone the whole distance here. So here they go. They know they only have a minute to do it. And Dragon's going to take everybody he has for one strong push. Can they do it? We march with the 20th New York and the 5th Ohio. Here they go. Straight to the point of contention. But once again, Virginia already waiting for them, putting the heat down as soon as the Union is in position. Union not even able to get into a battle line before the 22nd Virginia is able to lay a volley on them, knocking most of them down. You can see most of the guys hiding behind a tree in a single line. Opposite of the 22nd Virginia. But here come Preacher and the Calvary. Hitting him hard on the flank. And that is it. They know it's over. 21 seconds left. And the Confederacy has won the Battle of Piper Farm. That last push is all that the Union could muster. Just couldn't make it happen today. But a fine battle. And congratulations to the Confederates for one hell of a defense. And there you have it. Look at the casualties. Very low. 121 and 66. Uh, but you can see the out-of-line numbers very low as well. 
So, interesting fight, guys. I really appreciate you letting me come along and, and film this today. Uh, I only have a chance for one battle today. I apologize. i got to get to that Irish festival. But uh, thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed that, hit the like button. Consider subscribing. Till next time, my name's Jehovah, and I will catch you later. Goodbye.